Hi, I'm Justin Cooper, and this is Davina Raybuck, and we're sports physical therapists with MedStar Health, and we're here today to show you some exercises using dumbbells for baseball. First thing I want to talk about is shoulder health and mechanics. You want to be careful not to cause any impingement or pain when you're doing exercises, so you don't want to use dumbbells that are too heavy. Usually lighter is better, and doing high repetitions and several sets is better than heavy weights and causing pain or injury to your shoulder. So some of the exercises that we recommend are abduction to 90 degrees, lifting the weights, and so she's going to come out directly to the side, but not higher than shoulder height, and then lower the weight slowly. You want to use eccentric control as you're coming down, which benefits the strengthening of the muscle the most. So you're coming up strong to 90 degrees, and then lowering the weight slowly down to the pockets. Again, not using a dumbbell weight that is too heavy. You don't want to be compensating by any of the muscles in the upper traps or other parts of the shoulder. The other exercise we recommend for the rotator cuff is external rotation at 90 degrees. So you're going to bring your arm up and then just externally rotate and then slow coming down against gravity. We also do this often sideline with a towel roll under the arm and do it from the shirt halfway up to the sky, but always with that slow eccentric control as you're coming down to benefit the muscles in the shoulder. And then the final exercise we recommend is a diagonal pattern. It's called PNF. It's the D2 pattern, which is up toward the sky and then slow back to the opposite pocket. Strong lift coming up, never causing impingement or pain, and then slow return. So I'm Justin Cooper and this is Davina Raybuck. We're sports therapists with MedStar Health, showing you some good dumbbell exercises for baseball. Remember, if you have any pain or discomfort, please consult your health care provider.